Hi there, my name is Greg Anderson from Northwood Traditional Archery. I'm a bowyer and a fletcher and a wilderness instructor. In this video you will see clips of me making bows and arrows. This piece of wood is hickory and I'm carving it down into a design that was used by the Seneca people a scallop edged recurve bow. Once the knocks are formed, the string can be tied on, which is also made of natural materials and hand twisted in my shop. At first it's tied on loosely so that I can check the bend without overstraining the bow. Stiff spots are selected and then taken back to the vise where they'll be filed and sanded and scraped back down a little bit. The whole thing is then rechecked and the bend is pulled a little bit farther to check for more stiff spots hidden in the bow. A well-made bow is a living thing. It has a spirit of its own. At least that's what ancient cultures believed. And it has come to be my belief as well. Like a well-made samurai sword. Every bow is unique and has a spirit of its own. Watch the grouping that I make from 20 yards away. This is with 900 grain arrows which are really heavy. A heavier arrow goes slower. So why did indigenous cultures use them? They're more durable for one thing, and for another thing, their puncturing ability is incredible. I've split wooden boards with these arrows. Not only did the arrow split the board, but the arrow was fully functional afterwards. Incredible unheard of with aluminum equipment. You can visit my website at www.northwoodtraditionalarchery.com where you can take lessons on how to make your own archery equipment or buy handcrafted bows and arrows.